So this question says, which of the following ordered pairs, x, y, satisfies the inequality 5x minus 3y is less than 4? And again, anytime I see an equation or an inequality or an expression, I like to rewrite it for myself. This question is, it looks like it's going to be a plug-in, I'm going to say plug-in answers question because obviously these values are x and y values, right? So the first column, the left column is x numbers, the second column is y numbers. And we're just trying to make sure that it actually fits the inequality that we've been provided, right? Which of the following ordered pairs satisfies inequality? Well, we can just actually try them all. So if I try one, which again is one comma one, that means x equals one and y equals one. We can plug that in to see if that actually is true. I'm going to plug in x for, I'm plugging 1 instead of x. So instead of 5x, I have 5 times 1 minus 3 times 1, right? Instead of 3y is less than 4. And then this is 5, and 5 minus 3 is less than 4. And yes, in fact, 2 is less than 4. So 1, right, Roman numeral 1, is a good answer. And that automatically means that b cannot be the correct answer because b says that only Roman numeral 2 is a good answer. So now let's check Roman numeral 2. So Roman numeral 2 here says that x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 5. Again, I'm just plugging these values in. So once again, I have 5x, but instead of x, I'm replacing it with 2. Minus 3y, but instead of y, I'm replacing it with 5. And again, I want to see if it's true that that's less than 4. So 5 times 2 is 10. Minus 3 times 5, which is 15, is less than 4. 10 minus 15 is negative 5, and it is, in fact, true that negative 5 is less than 4. So 2 is also good, which automatically means A is gone, because that says Roman numeral answer 1 only, and D is gone because it says 1 and 3, right? Which means that C must be the correct answer. Now, we could go on and check Roman numeral 3, and I suggest you do that. Um, just in case we made a mistake somewhere else, because if three works, then we know we made a mistake either with Roman numeral one or two. But let's just confirm that three, in fact, does not work. So for three, we have that X equals three and Y equals two. So let's see, is it true that five times three minus two times two is less than four? Five times three is 15 and two times two is four and 15 minus 4 is 11, and 11 is not less than 4, which is why 3 is not an option, and that just further confirms that choice C is the best answer.